Okay, I wanted to go ahead and give an update here. So um, a few folks have been asking and it's kind of like old news for me, but not for, not for everybody else. I went ahead and set up this uh, very tall Exoterra front opening enclosure here. It's uh, three feet wide, three feet high, and I think 18 inches deep. And I, uh, I set this up for one of my ornate Euromastics uh, from last year as, a, as, a, as an experiment. Um, this isn't news to those who are interested in Euromastics for the most part, but they, ornates are actually like a semi-arboreal. They spend a lot of time climbing on bushes and, and, and trees like acacia out in the wild. And so I thought it would be fun. I was inspired by um, Lizard Cabinet, uh, Dean at Lizard Cabinet, uh, to make a, a more vertically oriented enclosure for my ornates, or for an ornate anyway. And so I went ahead and set this fella up with one. And as you can see, hey buddy, go ahead. Very, very good climber. Whoa, don't fall. <laughs> He's got, uh, let's see, T5. Halogen, Exoterra, Terra Sky, LED UV, all for this one little fella. Big branches to climb on. He spends most of his time up there, but bounces around all through his enclosure. He's got a hide way under there that he uses from time to time. Hey, buddy. Nice guy. Little captive bred boy. He hatched in 23. Yeah, and he basks. He actually spends a lot of time here basking under the, the, the LED UV, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, you can find, actually, if, I'm pretty sure someone recently posted on Facebook. Um, I've, there's lots of video of this all over, but there's lots of pictures of ornates climbing on those acacia bushes. Um, very thin, like even thinner than this manzanita. But really cool stuff. So go ahead. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> Despite what he would have you believe, he's a very good climber. Anyway, that's the little update there and how it's going. Good stuff.